What's up, Bass Junkies? Today we are going to do a tutorial on a sneaky way of sidechaining. So a lot of you have probably figured this out already. If you try and freeze a track that has a sidechaining compressor on it, Ableton does not let you do this. And it's also sometimes kind of a pain in the ass to set up a sidechain. You have to have a sidechain source, you know, with a kick drum sample, and it is a little bit of a um, pain in the ass to set up. So I'm going to show you another way to do it. First of all, we're going to show you the source material we're working. This is, uh, this is a track that I have been working on, and we just got a little segment of it looped. So as you can see on our fat lead right here, we've got a compressor that is set up to sidechain, and it is sidechaining down uh, to get out of the way of the kick and the snare. So if we solo this, you can hear and see what's going on. So that's side chaining to a 4-4 kick. Now if we try and freeze this track, it's not going to let us do it. So we go freeze track, Ableton says fuck you, you can't do it because of the routing of the fat lead compressor. It doesn't compute the side chaining signal and can't freeze it. So we go OK, and we're going to delete the side chaining compressor. Now we're going to use an auto pan because you can create an effect identical virtually to side chaining compression with the auto pan. So we take it in here, it loads in its default setting. Step one, turn amount to 100%. Step two, turn the waveform to a saw wave. Step three, crank your phase to 360 or zero so that they're aligned exactly so you don't have any difference between the left and the right. Okay, next step, we go to beat sync and we sync the rate to a quarter note. Then the final step, click normal to invert, and you will now see we have a waveform that looks oddly similar to side chaining. So let's just check to uh, make sure that this is actually achieving the result we want. Whoa, holy fuck balls, that sounds like side chaining. So uh, there you go, a couple simple steps to um, get around Ableton's compressor that doesn't like to freeze. As you can see, if we go here, voila, we can freeze the track. Isn't that sweet? All right, cancel, we don't need that. And uh, now if you want to even, this is what I've done on uh, my other system, is I right click on it and I go save as default preset because I honestly never use the auto pan for anything. So uh, I finally found something to do with it, which is pretty sweet. So hope you guys enjoy that. That is our tutorial for today. Have a uh, kick-ass day and make some kick-ass music. Talk to you soon.